What is going on guys? Storm Chaser 44 here and today it's it. This is our first Let's Play series. About to go online right now. Actually that's what this video is all about. Going to do a quick little introduction. You'll hear more about what the series is going to entail in this video. So I'm not going to go into too great a detail. Just to let you guys know this is the start of daily content coming up on the YouTube channel. So I encourage you guys to check it out. Check out some of my older videos if you haven't already as well. Would we'll definitely appreciate it. Also, suggest it to a friend. We we'll definitely love to grow the community, especially through uh, not only YouTube but uh, Twitch as well. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. This is, like I said, the first episode of this Let's Play series. And uh, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really good. I've recorded quite a bit of episodes through this point, And I'm going to keep recording uh, throughout this week and for points going forward because there's a lot of videos to be made, obviously. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut loose to the uh, footage and hope you guys enjoy. We'll talk to you guys soon. The very first Let's Play series game that we're going to play, actually. Um, what I decided to do, I kind of teased this idea last week, if you guys saw the YouTube video. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing with this series is uh, playing through it a couple days at a time. Uh, well, depending on how the game is. Gonna, everything's going to be basically divided up into 15 to 20 minute clips of every game that I decide to play. And uh, we'll have some fun doing it. So basically what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to be playing The Escapist today. We'll get into you know what this game is all about here in just a second. But um, like I said, this whole Let's Play series is going to be called A Stormy Adventure. Now if you recall, A Stormy Adventure was kind of my name for my uh, Minecraft server, which I originally used for my Minecraft series that I did on YouTube as well. Um, but I decided to use that as a spin on the Let's Play montage, or I don't know if montage is the right word, just kind of the collection, because a lot of people use Let's Play, and, you know, with the name Storm Chaser, I thought, why not make it a stormy adventure for all the Let's Play? So, like I said, I've got a few games that I've got selected uh, that I have already loaded onto my PlayStation and a few games that I'll be downloading over the next couple days as the new free games of the month come out. Um, so I'll, I'll be able to play through those and have different series going on at the same time, things like that. To kind of gauge and see what you guys think and what you guys like and what you guys don't like. So, I guess we can go ahead and get started. So, like I said, the first game that we're going to be playing is The Escapist. Now this game is a really great side scroller, just classic. Just look at look at the title screen. You, you see what the graphics are going to look like. You gotta love it. So basically, the idea of this game is you play as a character. You go through the daily routine of being in these different prisons, and they all vary in difficulty from pretty easy to escape to maximum security. So basically, what you're trying to do is escape. Now, there are different tools that you can gather from other inmates, from guards, from uh, just everywhere to get out, you know, to, to basically escape. And I've already done the tutorial. I've actually played, uh, I think, two or three days, game days worth of uh, gameplay. So I don't know a whole lot about the game. I, I, like I said, did the tutorial and learned a few things. But for the most part, I haven't figured anything out with this game. Let me reset the camera here real quick. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a brand new game for the series. Now let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. Center Parks is the easiest one, I do believe. Yes, yeah, Center Parks is the easiest. Center Perks. I don't even know how to read, apparently. Center Parks is the first prison we're going to go to. Like I said, they do vary. Get harder and harder, and I believe HMP are, yeah. The description on this one, HMP Iron Gate, is the most fierce prison you'll ever come across. It's all singing, all dancing, maximum security prison will push even the most skillful escapee to the absolute limit. So there you go. And then, compared to what we're going to be doing, Center Perks, considered widely as the most laid-back prison in the world, with its luxury cells and home comforts aplenty. Why would anyone want to escape from here? Well, because it's, it's prison. That's why. Alright, so we're going to start a brand new game, and we're going to just override everything I've already done from that last game, because I really didn't get anything done. Um, who do we want to go with? Let's go with... Uh, we'll just go with that guy. And we're just going to call this guy Storm.
All right. And you can like change each individual character to all be one look or just however you want to set it all up. We're going to skip through all that because I'm fine with the preset guards and preset uh, other inmates. So let's dive on in here. But like I said, so far uh, I've played just a very little bit of it. It's it's enjoyable. It's something that's definitely different. Um, you'll see. You'll see. All right. Escaping. Good times. Well, this is it. It's time to put this plan to the test. All the preparation and hard work all boils down to this. Let's get to it. So basically, the way this game works is... Oh, well, okay. It's going to give me a little tutorial here. Oh! I have to do the tutorial all, all over again? Nice! Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so I've already done this before. But I understand how it works. So, I need to equip the screwdriver. Basically, you jump up and go to the other side. So there are multiple ways to get out of these prisons, and it's kind of just personal preference on how you want to do it, how, you know, what your approach is going to be. And so we've got to sell. I'll take a bar of soap. Put the bar of soap. Oh, shoot. Boom. Craft that. The mace. With a bar of soap and a sock. See? Just like that. Um... Equip that junk, and then bye bye. He's done. All right, so I'm gonna take his prison outfit. Equip that, and the guards don't even notice. And there's a tunnel, and got a shovel. Do some digging. And we're out. See? Alright, so that's the tutorial. I just wanted to breeze through that because I've already done that previously. But let's get into the real meat and potatoes of the game because like I said, I, I've tried a few different things and nothing seemed to work for me. So we'll see what happens. Alright, so the whole premise of this game is you're going to basically go through the daily routine of being in prison from going to lunch, going to work, going to dinner, uh, there's a workout period I believe, and there's something else. Don't remember what the other thing is. But yeah, you basically go through the routine of a prison day, and you basically plan your escape around these events. So, morning roll call. That's the first thing we have to go to at 8am. First of all, let's go ahead and read this from the warden. Dear Storm, Welcome to Center Perks, the most comfortable, low-security prison in the county. On behalf of all the staff here, we wish you a happy and relaxing visit. Should you get bored of the compliment... Let's try that again. Should you get bored of the complimentary cable TV we, pro we provide... Wow. One more time. <laughs> Should you get bored of the complimentary cable TV we pride ourselves in many other engaging activities around the grounds? Orden Max Caddy. Alright. So morning roll call, basically everyone lines up, you hang out for an hour of simulated time, wait for the guards to get here. They'll talk a little bit, kind of do their thing. Then they'll pick uh, people to search. You get searched in the mornings, you get searched at night. So you gotta be careful of not having stuff on us that shouldn't be ours when we get searched. Because I'll take it, and we'll get put into, uh, solitary. Who gets to shake down? Whitney and Snake. So those are the two that get sh we'll get to shake down after this. Alright, now we go to breakfast. Now another thing that we'll talk about here in just a second. I'll try to grab some food, sit down. Now, as you guys can tell, there are some guys that have the green exclamation marks over them, and some people that have the yellow or the gold-ish looking symbol above them. The guys with the green are basically, they have missions for you to take somebody out. Either take somebody out or grab an item for them. 
Usually that means taking somebody out, but sometimes it just means going to their prison cell and stealing it from their desk. Basically what that does is they'll pay you out for it and that's how you get money so you can buy stuff from these guys. Alright, so this is the morning free period. I need to check and see. I already know about jobs and everything, so I don't really need to... I do need to see what my job is, though. Where was that? I don't remember where... It's up here. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Do I have a job to start off with? Yeah, okay. So I'm in the laundry room. This happened the first time that I tried this game, and didn't work out too terribly well. I knew what my job was, I just didn't know how to complete it. And I think... Where is it? Where was it? The laundry room... Yeah, it's this one right here. Okay. So I gotta remember how to do this, because... I'm gonna go ahead and have these equipped and have them ready to go. So basically what you do is you throw them in the washing machine... And then once it pops out, well, it usually pops out. Maybe not. Okay, usually what happens is they'll pop out on the ground and then you'll move them over to the clean bin. I didn't understand that the first time that I got around to it and I really screwed up bad. So, we've got one more hour until we start our job. So I'm just gonna go ahead and equip that. I'm not gonna worry about gathering any tools just yet. Just because I want to get in the routine of, okay, I've got this much time to run around, i got this much time to see what's going on, and see who can offer me what. So, Mick, he has a metal sheet to sell, a guard outfit, ink, and a file. Now, the file may actually be pretty useful. That's another thing. The crafting on this is kind of interesting as well, because you don't get any help. There's no ingredients, there's no set list of things that you have to have. So it kind of does make it an interesting uh, back and forth, I will say that. Alright, let me see real quick. Let me pull up my... I don't have my stream pulled up. So guys, what I'm basically doing for the, these Let's Play series is I'm streaming them as I make the videos. So uh, as I do these clips, you'll kind of just see me have the chat up and people will be communicating as well. But I'm going to turn around and just almost directly put them back onto YouTube. I'll do a commentary to open up each video as well. That way, there's a little introduction of what's going on. You guys aren't just like, oh, okay, this is a game. Boom. There you go. So, uh, let's see here. We still got 30 minutes. Okay. So, my cell is right here. And I'll do some searching of everyone's desk at some point. Just because I know there's some items stowed away that I need to find. I just want to be sitting in here by the time... Oh, it's lunchtime. Never mind. I thought the work period started after... Hmm. Then we got two guys knocked out. Awesome. They're probably fighting. That is a really funny part about this game, I will admit. Whenever people start fighting, the girls will just come over and knock them out. And they'll just lay there. You can pickpocket them, take their stuff, all of that. So like I said, 20 minutes is going to be the goal as well for each of these Let's Play series, or each episode basically. So what I'll probably do is two days worth of gameplay here, like day one, day two, and then I'll stop, start a new recording the next time that I make an episode, which I'm not sure when that's going to be. But alright, time to go to work. Let's see if I cannot lose my job on the first day this time. I feel like I'm pretty prepared. I can already tell you I'm much more prepared than I was last time. Alright, so these are clean. Now how long do I have to work? That's the real question. Alright, so get those done. So it looks like I get two hours. Which is pretty fair. 
We're gonna go ahead and get those washing just in case. Boom, okay, so we did it. Nice. All right, so I didn't lose my job on the first day, like I did last time, which is a huge positive. We'll go ahead and wash this last one just for good measure. Impress the warden a little bit. Let's see if it'll finish washing. Yeah, it will. Yeah, we did a good job there. All right, so we should be set. We'll keep our job for another day. Exercise period, okay. I know what this is all about. You basically go down here to the weight room, knock out some reps. Okay, so depending on which one you work out on will depend on what attribute you're uh, increasing. So I'm going to be hitting the free weights, so I'll be building strength. If you hop on the treadmill, you can build up your speed. My goal is usually 10 reps in the hour, because it's an hour-long session. We're already at 38, 39, 40, so we'll knock out 10 at least. I didn't notice it does get progressively harder as you get further into it, as you get more reps in. I will knock out 14. Now let's go ahead and do 15. We'll do a 15. Boom. All right. Now time to go take a shower. You shower off. I believe that increases your stamina. I'm pretty sure that's what the green bar is. If you look on the top left part of the screen, guys, you'll see the uh, health bar, which is at 18 right now. I believe the bar below that is stamina, but I'm not 100% sure. Still pretty new. Okay, so we'll wait to the top of the hour here, and we may be going to dinner after this, or maybe another free period. I'm not 100%. Okay, so we Let's see what happens here, because I'm, I'm kind of curious. It's... Okay, so it is dinner directly. Okay. So we'll eat a little bit more food. At least we get our three meals in prison. I guess this is a luxury prison, so it's probably something really nice. So we'll just kind of hang out here. Uh, what I'll do after we finish this first day... See, they got in a fight and knocked him out. And normally I would try to pickpocket him, but with four guards watching me, it's probably not a good idea. I'm just going to go out on a limb here and just say it's probably not going to be a good idea. Alright, so... Evening free period. Okay, so I want to do a little bit of exploring here. What do I really need? Let's just do some uh, cell digging. See if we can find another people's cells. See if there are anything, any items that we could really use here. Ah, see, they caught me. Okay, so on the top right, I do know what the top right does. The top right is basically your, uh, what's a good way of putting it? Not necessarily your wanted level, but your, it's the suspicions from the guards. So if you have it closer to zero, they're not going to bother you. If it's, if you go in places you're not supposed to be, or you're not, I say you're not at dinner, you get caught outside just walking around. That'll raise your suspicion. So... There's that. Um, Rory's got an Arium barrel. Um, let's see here. I don't think he uh, the rake. I don't think I could really use for anything. So I'm not gonna take it. I, I'm gonna take a strategy with this game. I'm gonna try to just not take anything unless I know that I need it. And see, another guard caught me. I'm here. I'm right in front of you. Don't get mad at me. Let's see. Alright, let's have the clear. Let's check Alex's desk, see what we got. So, handkerchief, a lighter. Now, that may be interesting to use for something. Pack of cards, duct tape. See, I don't know what I would use a duct tape for. That's two people have had it, so I'm assuming it's somewhat valuable. Family photo, bar of soap, rope. Now that actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take that just so I can have it. 
All right, so there is a guard that's right there, so I'm not gonna really take anything. I'm out of the cell, don't you worry. For now. It's about time for the evening roll call. Oh shoot, that's the warden. Okay. Spoon, hand fan, teddy bear, razor blade. I'm taking that as well. That's going to be... Can I not use that as a weapon? I'm sure I can craft that with something and kind of make a knife of some sort. Now, another thing I did notice earlier, actually, let me go back to the lunchroom real quick before we do roll call. If I can make it in time. If you walk down here, right down here, all the cutlery, you can just take spoons and forks and knives. Very irresponsible of the prison. All right, so let's get to roll call. All right, and we're here. And we'll see who gets the shakedowns for this night. All right, who we got? Who we got? Hopefully it won't be me because I've got a rope and a razor blade. Okay, so we didn't get picked. Thank goodness. So here's the last part of the day. Lights out. So basically this is when you're in your cell for the night. The good thing about this is you can pretty much just hang out in your cell and do whatever you want. Great positive. The downside is you can't leave. So if you get to this part of the day, this would be the part where you want to do all your digging and start, you know, seeing what you can see throughout the prison because guards are just looking around, everyone else is asleep, they're not checking your cell. There are a few little t tips and tricks that we'll kind of go over as time progresses, as time progresses that I've already learned about this game, but for now, we're going to go ahead and sleep until morning and save the current progress. And that is going to be it for day one, guys. We're going to go ahead and back out. Alright, so guys, that is going to wrap up the first episode of this Let's Play series, what we're going to be calling a Stormy Adventure. This is The Escapist. What we're going to do, basically, I'm going to make a new episode as time progresses, and uh, they'll basically just be uploaded to YouTube as I see fit. My goal is to have a, a new YouTube video every day on the channel starting next week. So I'm going to be working pretty hard this week to make videos, have a good stockpile of videos for you guys to enjoy. That way, just in case I do have to work and I won't be able to stream or be able to make a Let's Play, there still will be content for you guys to be able to check out. So, my guys said, this is going to be an evolving process and I hope you guys are enjoying this. Hope you guys like it. If you guys do have any suggestions or any games that you would like me to play, Please leave that information down in the description below. And don't forget, give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it as well. Subscribers are always welcome, especially if you enjoy the content. We definitely appreciate it. And uh, guys, we're going to go ahead and sign off for now for this first episode of this Let's Play. Alright guys, and as always, it's been real, it's been fun. We'll talk to you guys later.